morning, everyone. My name is Makiko. This is uh, Yin Aroma class. But obviously, uh, I am not able to share like sample aroma with the internet, so this is going to be simple Yin. So if you're not familiar with Yin practice, it's a very very passive practice. You're stretching into deeper connective tissues like your passive or like joints, or you rejuvenate or lubricate those areas, you feel so like rejuvenated, like from inside, right? And then for the mind, it's a meditative practice, so hope it helps you relax and calm, starting like a new week. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the uh, breathing meditation. Please come to a comfortable seat. If you like to cross the legs, go ahead. If you like to sit on a block, blanket, the pillow, whatever you have. I know most of you are practicing from home with something like this. I have a pillow here today, so I'm gonna use that. But anyway, any seated position, that's okay. So once your body's grounded, let's sit up tall, relaxing the spine, relaxing the shoulders. You can roll the shoulders a couple of times and drop them toward the spine. Hands in your lap, palms space up toward the sky, fingers are softened. Keeping it long and drawing chin toward the chest, so still keeping the throat open. Okay, ground the big head reaching higher toward the sky, relaxing the face, relaxing the entire body one more time. And go ahead and close the eyes or soften the gaze if you prefer. So this is the time to connect with yourself. Tapping into the inner state. So let's enjoy our internal journey. So let's start noticing the breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Just watch the breath and observe the air coming in and out of nostrils. So just observe without trying to change anything. Just observe the balance between inhale and exhale. How about the rhythm? How about the length? How about the amount? How about the temperature? Does it feel cold, cooler, a little warm? How about the sound, sound of your own breath? What does it sound like to you today? Also checking in with the body. Just observe when you breathe. Does your body move, especially belly or chest areas? Do you notice any movement? How about sensation? Do you notice any sensation when you breathe? How about the temperature? Do you notice any coolness or warmth? How about the mind? Do you observe any thoughts or feelings? That's okay. Our thoughts, feelings, the emotion, they always rise and fall. So just notice and observe 
And if you can let go, let go. And bring attention back to your own breath. Letting the breath naturally flow. And the one's breath is naturally more calm and relaxed. You probably know the stillness in body and the mind. Slowly open your eyes. Okay. So let's do one more breath work today. It's called three part breath. So what you do, this actually the three part of breath help you to, you know, deepen the breath and the focus on the breath. And the breath is the uh, source of energy, right? So you actually get the body filled with more energy, okay? But for morning. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna place one hand over the belly, the other one just around like the middle of like rib cage, just to feel the body. When you breathe, those areas rise and fall, right? Okay. And then let's imagine three balloons, three balloons. One inside the belly, and the second one in the middle of rib cage, and then third one between the collarbones, right? So just imaginary balloons. So when you inhale, you first inhale, inhale and inflate the first balloon, that's in the belly, and the second one. So after the first one, you hold and hold the breath without exhaling, right? And then you inflate the second one. Hold and hold the breath. And then you keep going, you inflate the third one that's here between the collarbones, right? And then hold, hold the breath, and then you let it go. Three balloons, you can empty three ball balloons all together, right? This is one set. So hopefully we have time to do like two sets. Okay, so placing your hands. And feel the body. Okay, let's start. So fully exhale. Go ahead and inhale, inflate the first balloon, that's in the belly, as big as possible. Hold and hold the breath. Second one. Inflate. As big and the hold and the hold the breath. Okay, third one. Go ahead and inflate the third balloon as big as possible. Hold and the hold the breath. Okay, you can let it go. You can also exhale from mouth. You can let it go. And you can release the arms and feel what you feel. And of course, if you find it is too long, this is too much, you can adjust, you can just skip, okay? So please do what you can do comfortably, okay? So one more time, one more time, let's do one more time, placing both hands, fully exhale. Okay, go ahead and inflate the first one. Hold and hold the breath. Second one. Pause and hold the breath. Okay, third one. Pause and hold the breath. And now you can let it go. Okay, releasing the arms back to the thigh or top of the knees. 
And then just close your eyes for a while and then feel the body one more time. Observe, feel the body. So your body filled with the energy. And then how about the breath? And then how about the heartbeat? Do you feel your own heart, heartbeat? So for now, shifting our mind from doing something to just being here, just being. Okay, slowly open your eyes. Okay, so let's start the movie. Just a little warm up. Okay, so you can adjust your seat if you like to switch your legs or if you need to make adjustment to go ahead and you're still seated. Okay, so let's place both hands to the back of the skull like this, from the side, like this, if you like to interlace the finger. That's okay too. All right, so when you inhale, slightly bring your chin up to the sky. So opening your elbows. The heart is open, shoulders are open. And then squeezing the shoulders toward each other. Take a breath. Okay, slowly come back and then releasing your arms and then feel what you feel. Do you notice like a sense of relief? Okay, one more time. Placing your hand to the back of the skull and then inhale, bring your chin up. Do you notice any difference from the first time? Take a breath. Okay, slowly come back. Releasing your arms. And feel what you feel. Okay. So now you can start either side. So take one arm across the body with the other arm. Let's have this arm into the chest. And take a breath. So both shoulders are parallel to the floor, right? Relaxing the shoulder, relaxing the neck. And then this one, you can coordinate with the breath. So when you exhale, hugging into the chest. And inhale, slightly release. So you're repeating this. Exhale, draw toward the chest. Inhale, release. It's a very subtle movement, but that's okay. So we're gonna be adding a little twist, twisting to the same direction. At the extending the arm, just a tiny bit. And you can take it to evil arm. You can twist the arms and the palms together, bringing the elbow up to shoulder height, so spreading the shoulder blade away from each other. Feel the stretch. Notice the stretching sensation. And if you like, go ahead and start dropping your head toward the knee. Still relaxing the shoulder though. Take a breath. Okay, inhale, slowly come back up. Arms back to the center. Let's release. 
Feel what you feel. So reset the other side. So take the other arm across and the same thing as you exhale, hugging into the chest. Inhale, slightly release. Exhale, draw. Okay, let's start twisting. How about the ego arm? Twisting the arms, forearms, palms together, elbows up to shoulder height. So spreading shoulder blades away from each other. Okay, start folding, dropping head. Okay, let's start coming back up. Move slowly though. Move slowly. Arms back to the center. Okay, let's release. Hands back to the thighs. Feel what you feel. Okay. So let's come to tabletop. Placing your hands right under the shoulders. And knees are hip wide apart. And the knees are right under the hips. So you have a neutral spine here. All right. So let's start sliding hips side to side. Move slowly. And then you can start drawing a circle with the hips. So you can start small. And if you're comfortable, go ahead and start making it bigger and bigger. You can exaggerate the movement if you like. Reversing direction. Whatever you like. All right, let's come back to the center. So let's take one knee up and just start rolling the hip. So just to see how your hips are doing today. Do you feel a little closed? Or do you feel pretty much open? You can reverse the direction. Whatever you like. Okay, let's come back to the floor, other side. Same thing on the other side. But maybe, maybe you notice a difference from the first sign, which is okay. Right, just observe, just notice. Okay, let's come back to table top. And next one, child pose. So we're stepping in. So you're going to hold the poses for a little longer. Okay, so please. Um, make yourself feel comfortable, right? Find a comfortable place to remain still. So the first one, child pose. Take the knees wide apart. Bring the big toes together. You're going to drop the hips toward the floor. Make sure your knees are happy, both of them. 
You are more than welcome to make adjustments. If you want to bring your knees closer toward each other, go ahead. And then you can slide the arms forward. Dropping your head if you like. So relaxing the entire body and take easy breath. Again, you're more than welcome to make adjustments to find a comfortable place so you can stay and remain still. So let's take the arms to the left. Start the walking hand to the left. Until the body wants to stop. You're not pushing, you're not pulling, right? And it's passive practice. So letting the body naturally stop. And then you're gonna stay on the edge. So slowly come back to the center. And then second side, taking the arms to the right this time. So your body is melting into the shape. Again, okay? you're not pulling, you're not pushing. Until body naturally wants to stop. And take a breath, easy breath. You can close the eyes so you can turn attention inward, going deeper, deeper and deeper.
Okay, a couple more breath cycles. Slowly come back to the center. And come back to tabletop. Okay. So let's reset the next one. Next one is called melting heart. So let me demonstrate first. And if you need to make adjustment, if you need support, you can use that. So from tabletop, and you're gonna maintain the legs, meaning your knees are still staying right under the hips. So you're going to maintain this part, right? And then you only start the walking, sliding arms forward and forward and forward. And then you can drop the chin and chest to the floor. So this is the full expression of melting heart. But you're welcome to make adjustment. If this is too much for seems like too far or whatever reason, make sure so your knees are okay. So if you need like some padding, that's okay too. You can maybe use a towel if you have. You can roll the mat if you like, right? And then if you have something like this, dropping chest on the pill. This is something you can do, right? Or if you don't have anything, that's okay. You can do half and half. So extend one arm forward and then bend the other elbow, dropping the head or forehead like this. That's a good support too. And then switch the side later, okay? So take your time and find a comfortable place that works for you. Everybody's different, so that's okay. You don't have to copy me or, you know, you just find your own place, all right? So take your time. So your heart is gonna be melted, especially the thing, the corona. This is not the only thing that can happen in your life, but it's a big thing and then you're staying inside, your body's closed, your heart is closed, protected, that naturally happens, right? So you're, you're gonna open the heart, you're gonna open the body, right? Make sure your shoulders are okay again. Find a place so that your body can relax and remain still. If you have pain, that's probably too much. That's a sign you need to back up. So that's okay. Just be careful and observe body sensations. And then if you're working on one side, you can switch the side when you like.
So slowly make your way out of the pose. Please be careful though. Please be careful, take your time. Maybe first come back to tabletop. If you like to slide hips side to side or hip circle, go ahead. And let's go to pentacle pulse on your back. And then extend the both legs forward, wide open. Arms over the head, palms face up toward the sky, just relax. This is a country pose, so just allow your body to relax. Now let's see if you notice any sense of relief or release. We can let go. Okay, take your time and come back to sit it. Maybe bend your knees, roll over to one side. You can support your body any way you need. So we come back to sit it. We have a sip of water. All right, so let's do a shoelace pose. Shoelace pose, it's a hip opener. So what we're gonna do, crossing legs, right? Either side, you can start either side. So stepping one knee over the other one. So you probably need to wiggle a little bit, sliding hips side to side, back and forth, and allow yourself to sit right in the middle between the heels. about that. And make sure, especially your knees, both of them are happy. If this doesn't work for you, it's okay. You can do half shoelace so that you can extend the bottom leg like this. And then bending the knee, the other side, okay? So this is called half shoelace. Either one, okay? So once you're ready, once you're comfortable, placing fingers to the floor. And then you're more than welcome to stay here. Inviting sensation, always assess the sensation. And then make sure you're not having like any pain, right? Strong pain. And if you like, you can start walking fingers forward and forward. You can deepen this just a little by little. Rounding the spine if you like. You can also drop the head. As long as your neck is okay. Go ahead and drop the head. And you can use support if you have pillow or something. You can maybe, well in my case I have pillow like this, so I just let my pillow support my upper body.
So once you find a comfortable place, start relaxing the body, relaxing shoulder, relaxing neck, entire body. And remain still. Take easy breath. And observe the body sensations. Always observe body sensation, breath, and mind. So your edges can move, edges can be something physical, something emotional, something psychological, right? So keep observing, but they can always change. And then your breath can react. Sometimes it's as relaxed, as calm, but sometimes the breast gets choppy or shallow. It's fast, faster. How about your thoughts, emotions, and feelings? They also react. Sometimes you experience like a turbulence of emotions or feelings. They keep changing. They always change. So just observe. So if you find something that doesn't work anymore, maybe you can let it go and reset, readjust. Restart and refocus as many times as you need. That's pretty much yoga practice, right? It's actually the beauty of practicing yoga. That's a wisdom. Situation changes, environment change, season change, all the time. And we get to learn how to reset, how to readjust, restart, refocus during transitions. Okay, three more breath cycles. Slowly, slowly lift up. Okay, let's unwind. And then maybe before starting the second side, you would like a country pose. Country pose can be something like this. It's called a windshield wiper pose. Bending knees slightly apart, arms behind yourself, and take knees side to side. If you like something like downward facing dog, that's okay too. You can come to down dog.
Now let's see if you notice difference between right side and left side of the body. You can start pulling feet, sliding hips side to side, anything you need or you like. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and start the second side. Shoelace pulse. So second side can be new experience. So take your time. And let's remind yourself a beginner's mind. Start inviting sensation. All right, couple more breath cycles. So slowly lift up. If you're dropping the head, the head is the left one to come back up. Take your time. Okay, slowly unwind the legs. And then count your pose of your choice. I'll do down dog. Uh, you can do one shield wiper or anything you like. Okay, so let's come back 
to the floor and let's roll on to the back, extending both legs forward. And let's shake those legs. Let's just give it like a good amount of shake. Okay, let's bend those knees, hug them into the chest. And rock your body side to side. And back in force. Okay, how about the happy baby pose? Take a big toes and then bring feet up toward the sky. Of course, you can extend the legs if you like. Opening your hips, you can roll, rock the body side to side. Okay, let's release. Bringing feet back to the floor. The legs are closed, knees are bent. And you can bring the arms anywhere you like. So from here, crossing right leg over the left one, bringing those knees to the left for a gentle twist. So your right shoulder is still sealed to the floor. Let it go, let it go. Until the legs just want to stop. Okay, you're not pushing. Just let it go. So you can look over the right shoulder. You can close the eyes, take a breath. That's okay, you're in a safe place, so you can let it go. Come back to the center and switching the side. Crossing left leg over the right one, bringing knees to the right. This time to the right, left shoulder is still to the floor. So again, you can look over the left shoulder or close the eyes. Take a breath. Okay, let's come back to the center. Let's unwind. And we're coming to our final pose for today, Shavasana. So let's extend those legs forward. It's slightly open. Arms can be extended by your side. If you like to place hands, one in the belly, one in your heart. Go ahead. Feel the belly, relax the body, entire body. Allow your body to melt into the floor. Letting the head be super heavy. Close the eyes. And take a deep breath. Take a deep, deep breath.
you are in a safe place. So just relax. Enjoy the quality of the breath. And close your eyes. And imagine your body from all sides as if you were looking at yourself from above. Feel yourself being pulled into that inner ocean of peace and the quiet of the ripples on the surface start to subside. The outside world can be so busy, but inside we can find peace and tranquility. Keep your breath soft and your mind will follow. Feel yourself moving deeper still towards your inner core as if you were porous and you are being observed into yourself. As you find yourself closer to your bliss center, see the brightness there and let this brightness shine out like a lighthouse through the darkness. Okay, slowly bring attention back to the breath. And start wiggling fingers and toes, bringing awareness back to the body. Closing both legs, interlace the fingers over the head. And next inhale, take a deep breath in, stretch as nice and long. And exhale, let it go, relax. Okay, slightly bend the knees, roll over to one side, and take your time again, and then please come back to sit it. So once you're seated, let's sit up tall one more time, relax the shoulders, hands in your laps, and close the eyes. And take a couple of deep breaths. And finally, palms feet in front of the heart. And slightly lower the chin.
Okay, that's good to date for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Again, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you for watching live streaming. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Love you all.